Hi, YouTube audience. All of you are doing great and doing wonderful. Today and the week has started out wonderful as I keep this on Monday night, February 23rd, 2009. Okay, here is something. The 18-year-old daughter of Sarah Palin, Bristol Palin, has done an interview with Fox News. In it, she says she doesn't believe abstinence teaching is realistic. And she says her mother's pro-life position did influence her. She said it was her choice to deliver and keep the baby. Bristol also says she and the child's father will get married Sunday, but right now they want to finish school. Bristol does say she wished she had waited 10 years before having a child. Bristol is wrong. Plain and simple wrong. Why? Because I say so? Because people on the political right say so? Because Reverend such and such says so? Because the polls say she's wrong? No, she is wrong because she disagrees with the Bible. The Word of God says she is wrong. Okay? Now, let's look at what the Bible has to say on the issue of sexual relations. First of all, let's look at 1 Corinthians 6, verses 12 through 14. Okay, 6, 12 through 14. Everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Food for the stomach and stomach for the food, but God will destroy them both. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And verse 14. Sorry about that. By His power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and He will raise us also. Sex was God's idea and plan. Sex is not sinful. Sex outside the marriage bed, which is but one man and one woman married to each other, is what sex was planned to be, was designed for. Those who have sex outside of that have committed sin. Okay? So what should we do with sexual morality? Let's look at verse 18 here in chapter 8 of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 of 1 Corinthians. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body, but he who sins sexually sins against his own body. We are to flee sinful sex. Bristol and her boyfriend should have fled for what they had. Young people should not be having sex. Is there such a thing as safe sin? Well, that is what our culture, the government schools are teaching young people today when they tell them to use condoms. There is no such thing as safe sex or safe sin. Unless the sex, safe sex, safe, sex, safe sex you are talking about is in the marriage bed. Okay? Now let's turn our Bibles over to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 8. We should not commit sexual we should not commit sexual immorality as some of them did, and in one day twenty three thousand of them died. Sin can kill you. Sin kills. The Bible says a man weeps what he sows. Romans six twenty three says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is spiritual death which happens when one rejects God's free gift of Jesus and dies apart from having Jesus Christ in their heart and life. However, sin also kills the physical body. There are people, not everyone, but at least some, who are ill today because they have gone against this word, the Bible. Think of some who are, think of some who are dying from AIDS. Also the debate if a state should execute people, put people to death. We would never have that debate if people had not sinned and committed murder. There would be no need for capital punishment. And again, there are good people, even godly people, and I have mixed emotions when it comes to capital punishment. But the issue is not capital punishment. The issue is, 
is wrong, okay? Crystal Palin is wrong. That is, she needs to get right with the Bible, and she probably needs a good spanking from her parents again, in my view. The Bible is the best book we can turn to. Bristol can turn to it. The Bible can help you when you are tempted to commit sin. The Bible can help you when you are tempted to commit sin. But the Bible also shows us through Jesus Christ what to do when you have failed and fallen short of God's plan. You want to know what to do? Don't turn to Bristol Palin or anybody, politician, any person, or even your friends, young people. Turn to the Bible. Don't even turn to spiritual leaders if they're if they go if what they say doesn't line up with Scripture. Scripture will help you when you are tempted. Jesus will help you when you are tempted to sin. And when you do yield to that temptation and give into it and sin, Jesus is there to forgive you and to redeem you if you will call upon Him. So I encourage you get into the Bible, find out what the Bible teaches for itself, and find out how you are to deal with temptation and how you are to deal when you sin. Jesus is there to help you. I encourage you, get into the Bible. Find out how the Bible can keep you from sinning and can help you when you do sin. I hope this has been a help. Thanks for watching. Post any comments or email me any questions you have concerning the Bible or something else. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Billy. I'll see you.